Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Robo CNC. Finally, another video. I'm very sorry for that, but well, I just did not have the time to put the machine in the workshop, uh, level it and adjust everything again. And there was too much work and vacation going on. So uh, finally, it is in the workshop. It is working. It is not finished yet. There's still uh, an MDF bet on it and a lot to do. Um, but it is working and I'm loving the machine. One thing I do not love on this machine is the sound the spindle makes. Um, don't look at this top part because I lost some, uh, some footage, uh, video footage. So I will edit uh, the old footage in uh, after this intro. But the spindle um, is an air-cooled spindle. That's a choice I made. I do not want to go with a Chinese uh, water-cooled spindle. If you're up for it, I'm fine with that, but I'm going to use a high-end uh, um, air-cooled spindle. But the downside is, this is not the expensive one in their line. Um, and therefore, it makes a lot, a hell of a lot of noise. In here is um, a mechanical fan that has to work uh, both if the, the spindle is running to the left or running to the right. So clockwise or anti-clockwise, the air stream has to go down. So they made a straight uh, blade fan in here. And well, that makes a lot of noise. So. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the fan. I'm going to let you see uh, on the decibel meter what the, the sound is. I'm going to adjust the volume because your speakers are going to blow otherwise. Um, and I'm going to place an electric fan on it to do the cooling. So make this with uh, a nice duct with the 3D printer. Um, link down in the description below there will be another video on 3d printing uh, right after this video but well let's hop into it so before i'm gonna remove the fan i'm gonna show you uh, the result on a low tech um, decibel meter on my phone just an app so i'm gonna run it 18,000 rpm which is uh, maximum RPM and let's see what the noise does. So maximum reading I got was 110 and a half decibel. So okay guys, the fan is off. Um, now let's see just for fun what the sound of just a spindle is uh, without the fan on. Of course I cannot do this for a long time because it, then it would heat up. But um, just just for fun, let's see what happens. Okay, maximum reading is 74 uh, decibels. So that's really a low noise level. Even me talking now is quite the same. It's 69, 64, if I, yeah, 70 dB. So that's that's me talking. Uh, so 74 is the spindle. That's, that's quite nice. But well, of course we cannot, um, run the spindle without a fan so we have to think of something so basically what we came up with was to remove the uh, mechanical fan and go with an electric fan 
Um, the guys at Dame CNC told me not to do so because of the spindle movement uh, can crash uh, the bearings inside uh, this electro uh, spindle or in this, uh, this electric fan. Uh, but I'm more than willing to test if that's true. Um, I went with a uh, quite expensive uh, fan. Uh, I have been reading into the bearings of different types of fans and, uh, and the other thing you have to take note of, this is really, it's like a turbine. It has 190 cubic meters of air every hour. So that's really a lot of air. So do not get your standard computer fan that's 8080. Um, just go with something like this. Um, and well, check the description box for details on this one. Um, of course, this will not fit. So we had to make an adapter plate and we did on our new 3D printer. I will show uh, uh, the 3D printer in a second video. Um, it is shipped to us uh, by uh, GearBest, so do not bash the video. Uh, keep in mind that I use it for this machine and you love to watch these videos, so um, keep that in mind. And we made a duct on the 3D printer. So let's put it together. Well, does it look cool or not? So I quickly uh, connected the electric fan um, and noticed it was turning the wrong direction uh, so I have to turn the fan around which makes uh, that I have to print this again because there's now no finger guard anymore I was using the one from the electric fan so still have to make this uh, again but uh, doesn't matter I can prove the concept now and then still uh, make the wires uh, somewhat more neat um, so let's see what happens. So it's 84.8, uh, close to uh, 85 decibels, um, which is of course more than uh, the spindle without uh, coolant, but then it would break definitely. So um, from 110-ish to 85-ish, uh, uh, well, that's a real big difference in noise. 
the electric cooling project is uh, done. There is uh, a new printed duct with a finger guard so I cannot put my fingers in there and uh, hurt myself. Um, sound is still the same as you've seen a few seconds ago. Uh, wiring is done. It is now nicely wired through the cable chain and uh, goes into the electric controller. If I go counterclockwise or clockwise rotation with the spinner, it spindle it automatically starts the electric fan. Um, so it works like a charm. So 85 decibels, it's it's still it's still a lot of noise, but well if you're machining in a workshop um, you will be using hearing protection um, because a lot of the sound is coming from the uh, the cutter itself, the end mill. But it, it was just making too much noise from the fan. 110 decibels, it is, um, it is the same sound uh, F-16 fighter jet makes if it goes by you at a distance or a height of 90 meters. So think of a, a fighter jet at 90 meters above ground level passing by. That's 110 decibels. It is now at um, 85 decibels, which is the equivalent of the same fighter jet flying over you at 1500 meters. So it's a lot of difference. Um, we'll see if uh, it holds up, if it's true that uh, the, the bearing will, will break eventually. Well, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm not going to listen to the fight the jet all the time so if it does break I will find a better electric fan or I will replace the complete spindle and tell you guys I do not love the spindle anymore I think the setup is uh, coming together great now hope you like the video um, again watch the other video about the 3d printer itself um, and do not bash the video I do this for free, so if somebody sends me uh, uh, a cool toy, then uh, I think I've earned it. Yeah, okay, thanks for watching, and hope to see you a lot sooner this time. Bye for now.